This is Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech. We're going to be showing you how to test your battery voltage today using a digital multimeter. And we're also going to go into a little bit of electronic theory and battery operation. So the first step would be to locate your battery in your car. Um, not necessarily is the battery always going to be under the hood like it is here. It's an American vehicle most of the time it's under the hood. Um, there are times and even like BMWs you'll find the battery actually sitting underneath the trunk, <clears throat> underneath the wheel well in the back and you can access it through the top of the trunk. Um, Mercedes you can find it under the rear seat on the passenger side or driver side um, and <clears throat> actually in some Daimler Chryslers you'll find it in the rear or in the front quarter panel right here by the tire. Um, they're all in different places. You can consult with All Data, Mitchell On Demand or your specific manufacturer to see where the actual car battery is. Once you locate the car, tools you're going to need for testing this are your brain and a digital multimeter or you can use an analog meter. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to set it to the voltage scale. Now on mine, this is a Novia 3320. Um, it's, it's more of an auto type deal and it's meant for checking batteries. So I just have a 1.5 volt sit scale, 6 volt scale, 9 volt scale, and a 12 volt scale. On other meters, you'll have to um, choose a, a volt scale reference as well and always make sure you put it on volts DC, direct current, because batteries run on direct current. The way you can tell the difference between direct current on a, on a uh, meter is where it says, for instance, right there, DCV, the line above the V is straight and on alternating current the line above the V is alternating it's scaling up and down past zero okay so that's how you tell the difference we're gonna check it with a DC scale voltage and for mine obviously a 12 volt battery we're gonna look for 12 volts before you even start checking your voltage you're gonna to wanna to know what your volt numbers mean because those numbers don't mean anything if you don't know what they mean so we look at a scale here for terminal voltage and you see the difference at 12.65 volts my approximate charge is 100 percent at 12.45 volts i have a 75 percent charge at 12.24 volts i have 50 percent and so forth so you can tell in a drop of you know two tenths of a volt three tenths of a volt volt we have a loss of almost 20 percent to 25 percent um potential battery voltage so just keep that in mind keep those numbers in mind when you're reading it you know you need to be as accurate as possible all right so to test this out use with your digital multimeter you have two leads you've got your positive lead which is your red your negative lead which is your black and you hook them up on your battery in that exact way you hooked the you hook the red lead to the red positive lead the power lead so we take our red and we hook it to our red and we take our black and we hook it to our black all we're doing is we're just touching that steel bolt with both of these leads and then we're going to read what our meter says. Alright, so we're hooking our meter leads up now. Okay, and we're getting a reading of about 12.65 volts at the battery. So our battery is looking pretty good. One thing I forgot to mention was to make sure when you're performing this test that your car is off um, your key is not in the ignition, no lights are on, the stereo isn't on. Make sure that all your loads are off, all your anything that would cause electricity to flow out of the battery. Um, also perform this test in the morning, uh, after a couple hours of the car sitting without being started, so that the charging system isn't playing a factor in the actual potential battery voltage. If you have any questions, um, you can leave comments below. Um, we'll see you next time.